anyone who's been driving around our state this summer doesn't need to be told that some of our roads aren't in very good condition. And it's not just things like rough pavements, dangerous crossroads, or sharp curves. Too many of our highways are just out of date. You couldn't expect them to be otherwise, not after the combination of the Depression, when the state had no funds, and the war, when we couldn't get labor or materials. The thing that's surprising is that many of our highways aren't in worse shape. Today, of course, we're doing lots of fixing. In the six years since VJ Day, our state has spent $500 million on building or repairing 3,500 miles of road in the most comprehensive highway program ever undertaken. But the real trouble is that our present roads just aren't big enough. Clearly, something must be done if much of our state's commerce is not to grind slowly to a stop. One glance at history tells us what must be done. The old Erie Canal, our state's first great commercial highway, put many of our cities on the map. Because the canal brought trade and commerce to and from Canada and the American West into New York State. So today, we need a great new commercial highway. The Thruway, linking New York City with Albany. with Schenectady and along the canal's route to Utica. Syracuse. Rochester. To Buffalo up to Niagara Falls and down to the Pennsylvania border and all the cities in between. We need this marvelous superhighway to end traffic jams like this, to take trucks out of our cities and put an end to this. And we're getting the throughway. On finished sections, trucks are already saving you time and money. And for defense, the throughway will be a military thoroughfare for safeguarding every part of the state. Look at the savings the throughway will bring. The truck on the throughway reaches its destination before the truck on our present highways is even in the picture. To manufacturers, the throughway will mean a highway to new business. To employees, new homes in the country within commuting distance of work. To our vacation lands, more visitors spending over two billion vacation dollars every year on meals, in stores, for lodging, for transportation, and for amusements. This is the throughway we're building. Clearly, this is the solution to our traffic problems. A superhighway 535 miles long, running from one end of our state to the other without a steep hill, a red light, a crossroad, or a sharp curve. A superhighway big enough to handle both today's traffic and the traffic the future will bring. A safe road with a wide center mall and wide lanes to make passing safe and easy. And the wonderful thing, it won't cost the people of the state a cent in taxes. Those who use the throughway will pay all the costs of its construction and maintenance. The plans are complete. Some sections of the throughway are already in use. Others are now under construction. And everywhere, the throughway is the promise of increased prosperity for all the citizens of New York State. Abundant water power, transportation facilities, and the westward migration account for the early growth of villages and towns in the valley of the Mohawk River. With the coming of the old Erie Canal in 1825, the valley became a major traffic corridor between the Atlantic seaboard and the Middle West. But while the Mohawk Valley area has grown tremendously and has kept pace with the most modern developments in communications, it long since has outgrown many of its roads and highways. And so today, for the bustling city of Utica, 
hub of a marketing area comprising five counties and nearly 400,000 people, the new throughway and its associated highway program is a vital necessity. Take a ride north, for instance, and you'll see something of what's going on right now. Ten miles of new road for your convenience and safety. Here, work is progressing rapidly on the new hinkley Wilmert Road, a road that will open a new vacation area for residents and out-of-staters alike. Roads like this are made possible because the thruway itself will be financed by special bonds, thus freeing regular state highway funds for associated highway building projects. The five arterial and connecting routes now planned and building in the Utica-Rome area are other examples of new highways made possible by the thruway's unique method of financing. And there's another side to it. For as the thruway and associated roads mean savings of time and money to their users, transportation costs will go down. And savings in transportation can mean savings to consumers through lower prices. Dairy farmer and manufacturer, merchant and motorist, long resigned to the two narrow lanes of Route 49 connecting Utica and Rome, will find activity in the Copper City too. Activity that will mean savings in time, money and convenience to all of Rome's 32,000 people and the thousands more who come to buy and sell in this rich rural market. Here, construction of arterial thoroughfares in the Whitesboro Street area is proceeding full speed ahead, is typical of the long-range planning designed to free our cities and towns of unnecessary traffic, and at the same time, permit those cities to develop and expand, to be able to grow. Take the little town of Remsen outside Utica, a bottleneck for traffic until the new Route 12 was built. Remsen and a lot of other communities are pretty happy about the new highway project. For the new sections of Route 12, with its four broad lanes and dividing mall, is like a jet plane alongside the car of yesterday. Sure, the old buggy took us many a happy mile, got us there safely too, but the highways it rode on have no place in throughway plans today. Already, people in the Utica-Rome area can see the difference, the old alongside the new, for this New York State throughway is bringing to the Mohawk Valley a new and brighter tomorrow. Your throughway is the heart of a plan for a network of highways that will bring to the Utica-Rome area opportunities for the greatest expansion program in the history of the Mohawk Valley. For unless the streets and highways of a city permit traffic to flow easily, permit access to its shops and industries, the traffic stream, which is the city's lifeblood, will be throttled down to a trickle. Traffic jams, all too familiar to the people of the Utica-Rome area, have no place in throughway plans. Trucks play a major part in the life of Utica, for Utica is America's third largest truck transfer center. But for this very reason, trucks can get traffic into a terrible snarl. The throughway, which will parallel Oriskany Street, will take this heavy through truck traffic right out of the center of the city. And don't forget, each truck the throughway takes off Utica streets brings greater safety for our children. Here, the Utica District Engineer of the Department of Public Works 
shows how the Mohawk Valley section of the thruway will open a new era in transportation for the city. Just look at your thruway of tomorrow. Extra wide lanes, no curves or hills to slow you up or block your vision for mile after mile after mile. And this new era is fast approaching, for the thruway is already hurrying towards Utica and Rome from the west. The completed section is approaching Canastota. The thruway means not only greater safety, but new homes like these springing up outside the city. The thruway will also be the means of attracting more industries to the Mohawk Valley, like the great textile, cable, copper, tool, and brass companies, which contribute so much to the prosperity of this area. Logging and lumber are other examples of industries the thruway will benefit. And the list could go on without end. Think what the thruway will mean to the vast dairy industry. Using the thruway, farmers in Herkimer and Oneida counties may save up to $28 on each truckload of milk they ship to New York City. Think what the thruway will mean in bringing new tourist dollars to the Utica Rome vacation lands, for they will be within easy weekend driving distance from New York City. And when the people of Utica and Rome want vacations themselves, the thruway will take them quickly and easily to state parks and other vacation lands from Long Island to the Great Lakes and Canada. Soon your family may ride with pleasure and in safety from one end of our state to the other on a super highway. 535 miles long, a throughway that will span cities and towns and speed you and your family mile after mile with economy and convenience. A throughway that will bring the Mohawk Valley and its industries nearer to the world's markets. A throughway that will bring this rich, fertile area and its people an even greater tomorrow. Thank you.